guys, it's Saturday and it's time to take a look around my garden and my yard and see what I've been up to this week. I just happened to be passing by and I saw this little guy over here. Just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, so that's a Moringa tree. I'm not quite sure where it came from because I don't have any Moringa cheese around here. But yeah, so that just popped up out of nowhere. So that was kind of fun. What else did I see? Oh, this is interesting. So these these are these Palm Beach, we call them Palm Beach Oaks, I don't know. They're oaks of some sort. And these were all here. There's the larger ones. These were all here when we moved in. Uh, we have been here 10 years now. Um, but these guys are the trees and bushes that pop up. Here's another little guy over here. Trees and bushes that pop up from the acorns that fall. I don't think that much has really happened over the past week. Uh, it was a pretty dry week. Um, I did come out a couple different times and water everything, uh, but everything is still growing strong and some of the pumpkins are starting to kind of wrap themselves into the, uh, the fence there, which is what we wanted. Here the potato plants are doing really well with that. Don't even have to get down into the pot to show you anymore. So they're coming up. I'll wait for the rest of these to sort of come up and then I'll put a layer of dirt down in there. Carrots are doing nice and strong. And I think kind of the rest of this sort of looks the same as it did before. My cabbage my kale and lettuce, celery, eggplant. Uh, I did use one of the peppers, so I still have this little guy here I'm probably going to take off pretty soon. Go back to the cauliflower and the broccoli. Still just sprouting leaves and getting bigger. I did find one of these little support rods and put it up here. But the Roma, it's actually getting big enough to need support. Yay! And I've been eating my tomatoes on my wraps at night. And I got lots and lots of little tomatoes everywhere. Aren't they cute? Tomatoes, tomatoes in the sky. That's really it on the garden part. I do have a couple little projects that I might work on this week, and one project that I finished that I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on. So I found these, these have to be several, several years old, um, but we're gonna see if they work. I've got a cherry tomato, actually I got three cherry tomatoes and a strawberry. I don't know if you guys remember when these were all the rage, I think we ordered them through like a school fundraiser or something, and then they got left in the closet and never used. So. I am going to I'm going to hang those and see if they actually work. So this is a project I've been working on for quite a while, and mostly quite a while meant because I was looking to find the the boots. And I found the boots. I'm doing this for a gift for a friend of mine, and I thought that she'd really like it. Um, but yeah, look how cute these turned out. So I just finished planting them, so I'm going to hold on to them for a week so that I can make sure that uh, everything roots properly and grows. But yeah, how cute are those? Oh. Yep, the bird cage is doing good. I, um, I put some air plants in where I said I was going to put moss in. I have air plants all over and all the trees, so as they fall and land on the ground, I just pick them up and I go put them in the birdcage. So, uh, so we got lots of projects we'll work on for next week, so I'll have some more to report to you next weekend. But in the meantime, thanks a lot for coming along. We'll see you real soon.